So this is a short recording to introduce my astronomy students to the Stellarium desktop program that we'll be using to understand a little bit more about the sky. Once you open up the program, there's a couple of places where you're going to find some controls. So one is this bar down here on the bottom. And when you move your mouse, it shows you that bar, but then it hides it when you go away. The other one is over here on the left hand side where again if you move your mouse over there you see the menu but as soon as you move off it auto hides that. So let's hit just a few of the important parts in here. And one is going to be the location window. Now I already have this set for Columbia, South Carolina which is near where our school is, the closest major city. But you can also go in and type in any other place in the world. So maybe you wanted London, and you notice as I start typing it in, it will start to pull up those locations, and then you can click on the one. Notice also that it moved my arrow. You can also move the cursor, and it will take you to Australia, if you click on Australia, or it will take you to the southern tip of Africa and it will let you know what's in that region. We're going to come back over here and we are going to start again with our Columbia, South Carolina location. Notice you can also put in the latitude and longitude directly if you happen to know the coordinates. When you're done setting things over here you can go ahead and close that out with a little X in the upper corner. The next thing I want to show you is the time and date window. So by selecting this, it will bring up what time it's at. And you'll notice that it's currently increasing time at one second per second. I could change this and say rather than being in September, I want to go back to August. And maybe I want to go to the 26th of August. And let's go ahead and set that for 9. 30 in the morning, which would have been about partway through one of the classes I was teaching. So you can go ahead and close that, but I'm going to leave it open here for a minute. You notice that time keeps moving by. Your other time controls are down here on the bottom. And you'll notice that the little play arrow pointed towards the right is currently going. If I click on that, it goes to the pause and you'll notice that the time has stopped moving forward. I can then start time again, and I can pause it. Now you can also allow time to move faster. So if I move it here, you'll notice that my time is going by faster than one second a second. If I click it a second time, or a third time, it starts moving very fast rapidly forward. I can also go backwards in time. And the more times I click that, the faster it will move everything backwards in time. So you can actually have go through day and night cycles very quickly. Here I'm going backwards in time. Now sometimes you've done that for a little bit and now you're not at all where you want to be. So you can always come down here this little icon, which is like a, a big triangle balanced on top of a tiny triangle, is set the time to now. So you can set that back to the current clock time. And of course, you can always come up here and set it to the specific time that you're interested in. So that shows you a little bit about how to do the location settings and the time settings for using Stellarium.